Hi, welcome to our next question, which is from our first paper, October, November 2015. It's question 3B, and we are told use Newton action formula to obtain the solution to the equation sin x is equal to 1 minus x squared. Correct, find the small places near 0 0.5. So we just go ahead and do it the way you have been doing the others. Uh, as we said earlier in the previous video, always make sure you use what we call YouTube playlists. A playlist is how videos are organized in YouTube so that you can watch them as a sequence so that you do not watch uh, lesson 2 before watching lesson 1 or you do not less watch lesson 5 before watching lesson 4 so a playlist helps you watch videos in a sequence so that you can learn and gain knowledge uh, systematically YouTube is actually a very effective tool for learning it's only that you have to use it in the right way and as always, always remember to watch videos on it, it really helps. Leave a question, leave a comment, uh, you can also subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, watch the videos online and remember to watch the ads you see in my videos uh, because they not only help the channel, but they also help you learn something that you do not know. And here we have sin x uh, is equal to 1 minus x squared, which you can write this sin x, uh, we can bring x squared to the other side plus x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Of course now this is become a function of x. You can say function of x is equal to sin x plus x squared minus 1. Let us now have a function of x n which is equal to sin x n plus x squared minus 1. What about derivative of that function xn? What is the derivative of x function of xn? Is equal to, if you decrease this sign, you get cosine, cosine of xn plus 2x. One is a constant, two is a theorem to differentiate it. Now, substituting in the Newton action formula, substituting. In left, you can action formula. Here we get we know that xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus derivative of, I mean, function of xn divided by x, that's all the derivative of function of xn. We will have it, uh, xn plus 1 is equal to, what is that, I mean xn minus uh, that function which is sine, sine xn plus x squared minus 1, that is xn squared, all over cosine of xn, cosine of xn, Plus 2x. You go about, you just do what you have been doing earlier. Get the LCM. Xn plus 1 now equals to um, the LCM is cos Xn plus 2xn. Let's say this is 2xn. So it is, this one is a 1. Uh, we divide by 1 in this function times xn. So this is xn here. Cos xn plus 2x n minus cos xn plus 2xn divided by cos xn plus 2xn, which is 1. Open that bracket. I mean, there is a bracket here, which is and the numerator you have sign sign xn plus x squared n minus 1. So let us open the bracket. We have xn plus 1 now becomes xn cos xn plus 2x squared n minus sign xn plus 
x squared n plus 1 or over cos xn plus 2xn which now becomes I think there is a construction some one in some group actually creating YouTube videos sometimes not as easy uh, there's some construction going on so there will be a bit of noise but I hope it will be audible this will become x n cosine of x n yeah this will turn to be a minus this will be a minus be left with x square n I think I'll start with the positive one then finally I'll subtract side x n but it did not really have to be arranged they have to be arranged you can have a sign starting and then one coming later over cos x n plus 2 x n just for convenience I'll pack up this x n I'll say this is now x n inside the bracket I'll have cos x n plus x n close that bracket plus 1 and then finally subtract the same x n or over cosine of x n plus 2 x n I think now we are ready to start with the taking n is equal to 0 and I think we have been given x0 s we have been told near 0 0.5 so x0 is 0 0.5 0 0.5 so now we say uh, x1 now become equal 0 plus 1 is 1 x0 um, open the bracket, there is a cos x0 taking n is equal to 0 plus x0 close that bracket plus 1 minus minus sign x0 um, or what? Cause I know x not plus two x not. Now x one will be equal to uh, zero point five. Cause I know zero point five plus zero point five. Close that plus one minus sign zero point five all over cosine of zero point five plus two times zero point five. Let's see what we get. I'll need my calculator here, but I'll not be doing everything on the calculator. I just want to mention something. So we have zero point five. We open a bracket. Uh, cosine of 0 0.5 we have to make sure our calculator is in radio for this 0 0.5 we don't mean 0 0.5 degrees we mean 0 0.5 radians plus 0 0.5 close that bracket plus 1 minus sine 0 0.5 and remember you have said the calculator must be set into radians is uh, one point two zero nine one point two zero nine degree uh, six six over cosine of zero point five uh, plus one one point eight. Seven seven five eight 
so it is 1.2093 Six divided by answer. This binary is uh, zero point six four four one zero eight. I think for the rest of the work, I'm not using a calculator. Just to save time, you can see if I'm using a calculator, uh, this video will become unnecessarily long. So just go ahead and. Uh, just like the values that I had worked out earlier. So, which means now I'll need to have something to check. I didn't work out this earlier. Now, say our x to take, if we take, taking n is equal to 1, we have x2 is equal to x1 the bracket cos of x1 plus x1. Uh, plus 1 minus sine of x1 all over 2 not mu 2 but all over cosine of x1 plus 2x1 which is equal to uh, 0 point what that value there I need to check that 6 4 4 1 0 8 Uh, with bracket cosine of the same value 0 0.644108 plus 0 0.644108 close that bracket plus 1 minus sign uh, 0 0.644108 or over cosine of 0.644108 plus 2 times 0.644108. Here, using answer key is very uh, crucial. See, I already have my answer on the calculator, so I'll go ahead and use answer key. That's what you should do. After you have worked out the uh, numerator using the answer key. Of course, you get you write the result somewhere, uh, which is according to my working here, one point three two nine four four zero five. One point three two nine four four zero five. You always have to be careful when it comes to this. Assuming I uh, put everything uh, using answer key, I got all that. Uh, then. I will need to work out again the numerator. So uh, what I will do, I will take my previous answer, which is 0 0.644108. I just say equal to, so that it is my uh, current answer. So that now on the minute, I can now say cosine of answer plus twice answer. So that I can get 2.07. 2.0785 then this one if you now do the division you get your x2 is equal to uh, 0 0.636767 by 1 uh, so far you are correct only to one decimal place Let's continue with our working. Then if we take taking n equal to 2, you have x3. See, you can we are using the previous approximate to get the current approximate. x3 is equal to x2 with the bracket cosine of x2 plus x2 close that bracket plus 1 minus sine x2 or over cosine of x2 plus 2 x2 I'll write the values I'll substitute the value of x2 which is 0 
six seven five one open that bracket cosine of um, zero point six three six seven five one plus zero point six three six seven five one close that bracket plus one minus sign zero point six three six seven five one or all over cosine of two point six three six seven five one plus twice times two point six three six seven five one work it out using your calculator my answer is uh, 0 0.6367 you can see Newton action is quite a powerful method we are um, converging quite fast uh, we are already correct how many decimal places already we are correct 4 decimal places we are required to be correct 5 decimal places so you can see the quick rate of convergence of the Newton Lacton method. If you are using other method of um, other iterative methods like a bisection method, actually you would require to do almost 10 or 15 iterations so that uh, the problem can, can finally converge. But with Newton Lacton, if you do not, if your problem do not converge after four iterations, you should start to check if you made a mistake somewhere. So uh, remove this now so that you can I think this should be the final iteration. Uh, after it's expound, we should already have had it. So we can say finally x4 or taking uh, x n to be equal to 3, taking n to be equal to 3. n is equal to 3 will give us x4 is equal to x3 bracket cosine of x3 plus x3 plus 1 minus sign x3 all over cosine of x3 plus twice x3 so that now our x4 becomes what was our x3 uh, 0.63 open bracket cosine of 0.67 uh, 67 plus 63 63 67 32 plus 0 0.63 67 32 close that bracket 63 67 32 plus 1 minus sign 0.63672 over cos 0.63672 plus twice times 0.63672 uh, substituting those values in your calculator uh, your value of x4 will be 0.63672 so we are finally converged but you only require to give the answer correct to four decimal places five decimal places so we finally say x is equal to 0 0.6367 because if you round off that will disappear so that is it that's how we go about it uh, as always uh, remember to leave your question comment uh, you can uh, subscribe to the channel you can also Always support the channel by watching the videos online.